Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You hear no Papa Boy Kid. That shit's not gonna work. That is true, cause you got a lot of ass and you got to maneuver your shit around all so that ass. Like do, That's cool though. I like that though. Like, I was talking to my sister one day and she's like, she's, she don't like people just looking at my butt, you know? She's like, you don't like it's that. It's weird, though. Like leggings and stuff. And I'm like, it doesn't matter if I put on jeans, shorts, or a skirt. I'm still gonna have a fat ass, no matter what I wear, no matter how I dress my body. Jeans, leggings, my butt's still big. That's funny. I actually try to tell you that to make you say that. So I'd be like, hey, you know why you wear those leggings. All girls know why they wear leggings. Like girls wanna know why they wear push-up bras. You wanna make them titties look good, healthy, and jiggly. You wanna make yeah. that ass look tight, succulent. Cause that's, at first minute, that's all I thought why girls wear leggings. At one point, I'm like, what happened to jeans, my nigga? I'm a girl with apple bottoms. The bedazzle butts, the ones, the ones that change, it's like light, and they go dark, then they go back light. I'm like, damn, what happened to the jean structure? Now it's checkered leggings, dog leggings, easy money. I'm just saying though, yeah, it's like that art is gone though. You probably got at one point you had more leggings than you had jeans. My point exactly, so I'm saying that shit just changed. But that's cool though. I like seeing that ass a lot. It's like when I wear these type of shirts like this. That's not like they don't hug me like this. Yeah. I go like this and give me, you know what I mean? It fill you out. I like that. That's cool. Where the shit to fill you out, man? Like, shit. That. All that ass. That's cool. I'm cool with that shit, but it's just. I don't know, man. We live in a time where we gotta stay alert. Like, we can't even go to Walmart. That's scary. I was waiting for it to happen, but I'm just like, I hope it don't happen. Because literally now, now I gotta be scared to go to the fucking movie theater. And we're in Colorado, nigga. That's what's crazy. The movie theater. Fuck it. Walmart. Fucking Las Vegas. Like, we was about to do all this shit now. We was about to go to my... So, check this out. Kind of like we finna go to Miami. The hurricane hit. One song. Then... We was gonna go to... Yeah, my auntie was supposed to move to Houston. That shit happened. And then she had to switch it up. Then, we was just at Walmart not too long ago. In Thornton. And I was just there for the job interview. We was just about to go to the movie. We went to movies once. The lay down one, and that's all I was thinking about the whole time. And I'm gonna like, man, we in Colorado. What is this? Redhead's brother or cousin coming in this motherfucker trying to continue the legacy. I'm like, boy, we don't got nothing on this, boy. It's gonna be hard to get up out this motherfucker. This shit crazy. And a boy said, a boy said his cousin called him, like, hey, bro, you at the Walmart? He like, nah. He like, all right, they just said a the motherfucker up there shooting and people trapped in that motherfucker. Like, the thing didn't, uh, just up, I'm like, shit, nigga, I'm, I'm in there hiding then. Fuck that. I'm in the back. I'm going to go to the, I'm in the break room, right here on everything. Or in the stock room. Shit, Walmart big than a motherfucker. Nigga. I'm in the garden section or something. I'm going to get a, what's them things? The little, the garden section, nigga, the, the forks or something. They, they, Walmart do sell guns. I'm going to go to the gun thing. Walmart, Shh, stop, nigga. Bop, bop, bop. The, video, um, the nigga was too calm, though. That after the gunman, multiple people in, call, in the Walmart pulled their guns out. They didn't shoot, though. Scary. They didn't shoot it, huh? Uh-uh, because they didn't know where he's at, huh? See, yeah. See, we need to... If but niggas gonna be civilians, we need to be trained with it. Surveillance and they saw multiple people take their own guns out. Oh, man. Yeah, That's crazy. It's just like Kansas University. I think Kansas is the smartest university to allow guns. And I don't care what nobody said. If you bring one, the, I'm fucking shooting you, period. Nigga, the white dude just walked in there with a coat on, just cool, casual. Looked like he about to get some grapes and some milk for the wife. No, that nigga was on a mission, nigga. The fuck? But you can't tell, though. Man. You know what they should start doing? Like when you go to jail or something, they should they should like when you go to jail for like a uh or a shooting crime or some shit like that or some shit that don't matter, they should mark a motherfucker now. That's what we they should, we should start doing. Not like branding motherfuckers, but marking motherfuckers, let motherfuckers know this nigga used to be dangerous. Well, and he might still be brother, dangerous. Back back off that nigga. When my brother was in juvie, they made him wear color coded jumpsuits. Yeah, no, no, that's what I'm saying. But we can't do that now. People get out because they're gonna wear the color they want to. So we need to get some shit where they get a tattoo on the forehead or. On the somewhere visible, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like this shit, crazy. And my mom is crazy. And my mom is crazy. And my shit coming in too.